לפני חמש דקות הוא לא רצה את זה, עכשיו הוא הולך להיות מיליונר מזה. Morning guys, what's up? Starting my week, going over my uh, three months goals. And one of my goals is to go to San Francisco since I've never been there and I kind of want to see the design scene over there. But I'm looking for kind of a design event or a conference or something because if I'm going to kind of a professional event, then I can probably get a sponsorship or get the trip uh, paid for, which will be more fun for me. I couldn't find anything super interesting in San Francisco, but I did find the brand new conference, which is a conference about branding and supposed to be super cool. And it's in Nashville, Tennessee, which is not really close to San Francisco, but I'm also super excited to go to Nashville. I always kind of, that looks really cool to me as well. So maybe I'll just go to Nashville, then go to San Francisco and I'm back home. Still not sure about it. Um, but I will consider this. I'm going to the new school meeting right now. We've decided to spice things up today and do the meeting next to Ayal's house. Bye, dude. Great new school meeting. We've been going over the new version of Prospero, the new product that we're working on and it looks great hopefully i don't want to be too confident about it but it might be possible to launch a new version by the end of next week that'll be so great i'm excited it's coming out really nice also check this out jay is a 13 year old designer and developer and he's posted an instagram about prospero and got 600 likes hell i don't even get 600 likes for pictures i post with tommy so during our meeting today lior told us about a new platform that he discovered called steam it basically it's like reddit where you get to see content articles and you get to upvote them and comment but it's on a blockchain which means that you get uh, rewarded with kind of a currency for every time you post or link or comment there so the content creators can get paid or I'm not sh sure I'm fully understand it but I want to kind of deep deep into it and see if I should be posting my YouTube videos there kind of to bet early on a new technology that's coming out but what I want to talk to you about today is this aspect of trying to figure out new technologies and make bets on them and how I think about it. So I once heard this saying that really made me think, if your time was worth $10,000 an hour, would you still do the things that you do? And it kind of makes you really think about the fact that you have 24 hours a day and everything that you do is kind of an investment because you could be doing something else, something that's worth money or something that doesn't worth money, such as spending time with your family or friends or whatever. So when I kind of think how I invest my time, I always make sure to leave out some time to kind of invest in learning new technologies and new skills. And that really does pay off in the long term. For example, two years ago, I've discovered a new technology called Webflow. If you don't know, Webflow is a platform for building websites without coding. I've started learning it when it was really, really early. It wasn't really complicated, but now as they've added more feature and more complexity and more power, I can really dominate this technology and create complicated websites really, really quickly. And that capability is now worth a lot of money for me. And I'm betting that Webflow will grow and be successful and that's why I invest time in learning it. Other people, for example, make bets on Squarespace or other platform for building websites and maybe they'll win and maybe I'll win in the long term. Another technology I'm investing in right now is drone technology. I've spent $1,500 to get the Phantom 4 drone and I'm practicing it every day because I believe that in the long term, it's gonna be really important to know how to be good at flying drones and shooting with drones and maybe I will make money, you know, uh, shooting videos with the drones. I don't know, it's, it's both fun, but it's both an investment because I have a good feeling about this technology and that it's gonna be important in the future. So this day ended up pretty short because Noah was sick, so I had to pick Tommy from the kindergarten and uh, we ended up going to the beach. 